Hey folks, guess what this video is? This video is me letting you guys see what happens the very first time that I attempt to use a harness and a black panda. I've brought with me my trusty laptop, this cable that, um, it was on the floor. I think it's the right cable. Did not work uh, between my computer and my phone, which gives me some concern. Somewhere I have another cable that's USB-C to USB-C. Worst case, there there is a Best Buy. Um, and I brought my uh, self self built panda paw that looks like a. I can't, I'm not going to say what it looks like to me. Somebody else said it looks like a model rocket launcher. That was, uh, Cowan, Cowan M from, uh, uh, from the discord, the comma discord. So, uh, right now I'm just actually waiting the three or so minutes it takes for the car to completely shut down so that I can unplug my giraffe and the gray panda and all of that and I can plug in this uh, this mess I see some possibilities um, it could set my car on fire it could just straight up not work it could be wired so poorly that the car throws codes uh, as soon as I turn it on Thankfully, I've got what is necessary to remove those codes. Um, so, uh, I think maybe it's time. I think it's been long enough. If it hasn't, you can tell. Um, when I go ahead and unplug the camera connector, if this lights up, uh, that means I didn't wait long enough. So, well, first, first things first, let's unplug... So the, the one that goes to the camera isn't going to cause any faults. Because the giraffe is what keeps those wires connected. We'll unplug this. What else can we unplug? The panda is going to be a two-handed unplug. So this right here, this is the cable. This is the connector that when I pull it, if I didn't wait long enough, I'm going to get codes. Uh, sorry, I don't have any. Wait, uh, I'll be right back. All right, I got it pulled. And the uh, the shifter did not uh, light up. If, at this point, while this is unplugged, while this is hanging loose, right now, if I were to touch any button in this car, like the lock, or if I were to open the door, or, gosh, any button, probably, um, it, would bring the, it would bring the CAN bus online, and the CAN bus is now half of the car is disconnected by not having this plugged in. So, uh, that's just really important for you to know, um, if you're ever messing with this. You have to wait three to five minutes for your car to be shut down. You can't touch the door handles, you can't touch the locks, you can't touch anything. Um, until this is either plugged into the back, back into the camera, or you got it plugged into the harness. So, I'll be right back, I'm going to plug it into the harness. This is not what I want to see. Um, so what this means is that there is a problem with the wiring. Uh, there's a problem with my wiring. All right, hang on one sec. Okay, folks. Uh, we tested the new harness and it didn't work. It didn't work spectacularly. Uh, that is because I have it wired in reverse. This is right. The female connector is right. That's pin five. This is pin five, but see how these wire colors are backwards. Got the blue over here. Got the white. It's just, this is completely backwards. Um, I can't just desolder 
I, well, I could probably actually desolder the uh, those terminals, but I'm not going to be able to get them back on. Uh, I'm going to have to cut. I'm going to have to cut these wires, put new terminals on the ends, and start over from scratch. Uh, bugger. That really, that really blows. Okay. Um, okay. So this was a failure, uh, but I, I see why it failed. I'm hoping that I didn't damage the, uh, hoping I didn't damage this $200 harness here in the process. If I did, I'll probably be begging for money. <sighs> what else? I hope I didn't damage the car. So the next, uh, what's the next step? Well, the next step is going to be to work on that. So the pedal, um, I had this great idea. I thought the pedal communicates with the open pilot using the powertrain bus. That's the main bus in the car. That's the only bus actually that, uh, that we need to use for this port. Um, and the low speed GM land, but we're not going to have access to that, uh, starting out the gate with the comma two. All that does is the dash notifications. So not a big loss. Anyway, you don't have to technically have the pedal plugged in to the giraffe or the harness. You just need to get it on the powertrain bus somewhere. I tried using the OBD2 port down here. I have a 2819, and the 2018s and the 2019s have that cybersecurity gateway. We had kind of assumed that it was just a blacklist of certain messages that it would not send, like the lane keep assist. It won't send and won't let you send them, uh, and any any like vital messages it's blocking. Well, it would appear it also has a whitelist because it is blocking the. Uh, sending and receiving of the message from the pedal. Um, it uses a message ID 200. 200 is not in use in this car. Apparently the gateway has a list of all the valid uh, IDs as well as invalid IDs. So uh, I was really hoping I was gonna be able to not have to run a Cat5 cable up there. And we still don't have to under the dash, there are plenty of locations where we can get an unfiltered powertrain bus. And if you're out of warranty and you're feeling frisky, you can just run a pin through those wires um, and tap into them and you would be all set. Uh, but you would also be leaving evidence of having modified your car and the dealerships don't like finding pinholes and wires and yeah, you can moisture could get into the wire. I, I can think of reasons why that's a bad idea. So sometime down the road, if I have the time, after doing some research, because I don't want to do this if it only works on the bolt, um, I, I want to find something under the dash that I can tap into that has a powertrain bus so we don't have to run an Ethernet cable all the way up here. Um, it's going to be a separate accessory if I can do it. And it may be very difficult because some of those connectors are very custom down there. But I have a 3D printer. So that's not going to be a huge problem for me. It's just going to be time consuming. And it's not a high priority right now. Uh, highest priority right now is trying to get the COM2 harness working. And then I'm going to have to do some coding work on that. Um... I have some coding work I need to do before people start really using the pedal because it's still not, uh, it's not production ready. It, you, you still, uh, you hit the brake and open pilot flips out and we don't need that. We don't need a flipping out open pilot. So uh, I have so many things to do. Well, I have more than three things to do. I've heard uh, from several places that human beings for the most part can only keep track of three things like like a list of three items once you get beyond three items and you add a fourth item 
the more items you add, the less reliable your memory gets. Well, my memory in particular is probably one of the worst I've encountered. I, I don't think I've met anybody else who forgets what they were talking about quite as much as I do, or forgets what they were doing, or forgets the next day that they had a conversation the day prior. Um, so I got to come up with a system, is what I'm getting at. I am rambling at this point. Uh, I apologize. I need a system to keep track of all the stuff I have left to do. And I need to get it prioritized. And part of the prioritization is going to require you guys, because I'm, I'm doing, for the most part, I'm working for you. I'm working for the community. Um, so I'll, I'll try to get that list together. We can, we can work on it together. All right, folks. Um, thanks for watching. Got to give you the spiel because I may have just destroyed my, uh, my harness there. Um, the R and D on this is still pretty pricey. It's especially pricey when it comes to time commitments. Um, just building this harness, this first harness took me over two hours. I really hope that I can come up with something that takes less time, but I can't continue charging $20 for something that takes me two hours to build. My time is worth more than that. Um, if nothing else, because of how long I've been in the industry, I guess you could say. So, I don't know. Going to have to figure out a better price, but I can't come up with a price until I have an actual viable uh, solution. Which, this this construction method is not... I can't give that to anybody else. That's, that's not... I don't feel that it is secure enough or stable enough. So... I need your help. I appreciate all the help that I have received. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Um, thank you so much to those of you who have donated money and those of you who have loaned me money. Um, I apologize that I haven't been able to get it back to you yet, but uh, I continue to need financial support. So if you if you aren't a supporter... Or if you got a bonus or something and and you really want to see this happen and you want to see it be stable and a little bit safer, maybe become a Patreon supporter. Maybe give me a, a one-time donation. I'll include the details below. Um, if you can't, that's fine too. I just appreciate you watching. Um, you know, you can like, you can share, you can subscribe, you can do all that stuff that everybody else talks about. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you don't like the video, you can give me a thumbs down, but, um, it's going to hurt my feelings. Just, just so you know, I haven't, uh, I haven't been hardened to the thumbs downs yet. I see them and I cry a little bit, but if that's how you feel, I want you to be honest. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Keep staying safe. Uh, and have a great day.